With fall in the air, I wanted to show you this really fun candy corn elastic hairstyle. It is a beginner style, but will take 10 to 15 minutes to do. These are the items you are going to need to do this style. If you are interested in purchasing any of these, I've linked them in the description below. I'm going to start by wetting down the roots of her hair in the crown section. Um, I just don't want her hair to be completely wet since it's starting to get cooler. From here, I'm going to go right to the middle of her forehead and I'm going to create a triangle going back to the edge of the crown on the right as well as the left. Now this one can be a tricky style to part out, so you'll see me kind of correcting my parts um, if I don't get it right the first time. And you can kind of eyeball it from the front or back, but you want a triangle section um, up in the front. So I'm just going to loosely secure this front section up and then with the back I'm going to loosely secure it so it's out of the way. I'm just going to be working with the front section. So with this front section I'm going to take the whole section and split it in half. This is a great way to um, get even sections since we're going to have four sections um, from front to back. So once I've got the back and the front divided off I'm just going to secure this back second section loosely with a clip so it's out of the way. With this front section I'm going to part it in half from side to side. This very front area is going to make the front of the candy corn or the top of the candy corn. So I'm just going to comb it out and using a clear or white elastic I'm going to secure it in the elastic. From here I'm going to take the section directly behind it and, and I'm going to split it into two. So I'll go down the middle of that front section as a guide to split it into two. From this point I'm going to take the first ponytail, split it in half, and add each of these sections to the ones behind it. I think by the time I'm done I will have said this, the word section, like a hundred times or so it feels like it. Um, the second section, or the second set of ponytails, I'm going to secure with um, yellow elastics. So you can use water and spray gel as needed on the base and roots of the hair to keep it nice and clean. With this back area I'm now um, going to split it in half as well. I'm just wetting it down a little bit since it's been a few minutes since I have wet down this section. So here you'll see me splitting that section in half. It just creates um, even sections from front to back. So the very last area I'm just going to secure off so it's out of the way. And then the third area or section I'm going to divide into three parts. So I'll go back behind the second ponytail right down the middle and that will be my guide for my next set of ponytails. So splitting this, the second section in half, adding it to the third behind it. Now I feel like this is almost hard to explain and it's almost easier if you just watch it. Again I'm coming down the middle of that second ponytail right behind it and splitting it in half so that I get even ponytails. And then I'm going to split that second ponytail on the left and the right in half and add it to that ponytail behind it. And then this pattern just continues um, from this third section to the fourth. So I'm going to add my last second to my third ponytail on the left here and then we're going to be working with our very last section in the back and you're just going to continue this pattern. So I'm going to split the hair down the middle back behind that third ponytail and then simply secure this off so it's out of the way. Um, if you're working with damp hair and you continuously are combing it out as you go, you'll find that um, it's much easier to get a clean looking style and this is a style that we almost always wear for two days because it doesn't hurt her head to sleep on and it always looks just as pretty the second day. Again splitting the ponytails in half from each side adding them to the ponytail back behind them. Also when you're doing the hair damp and wet um, it allows less flyaways to come into your style which makes for a cleaner style. So when you clip the elastics out at the end of the night, they're really nice and, and easy to come out. So just a reminder, cut your elastics out at night. You can use a small seam ripper, a pair of scissors, or um, nail clippers. Those all work fabulous. Don't just pull these elastics out. You'll end up breaking the hair. So we're going to simply add our last ponytail on the left to the fourth section. 
And that is our finished style. Now you can add it all to a ponytail if you'd like. I like to keep it as a half up style. I think it's super cute this way. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to see our new videos every Friday and we will see you next week.